Before Muhammad, before Jesus, before Buddha, there was Zoroaster. 3,500 years ago in Bronze Age Iran, Zoroaster had a vision of the One Supreme God. A thousand years later, Zoroastrianism, the world's first great monotheistic religion, was the official faith of the mighty Persian Empire, with millions of adherents. A thousand years after that, the empire collapsed and the followers of Zoroaster were persecuted and converted to a new faith of their conquerors, Islam. Today, Zoroastrianism is a dying faith with fewer and fewer worshippers each year. The demographics of religious belief are changing rapidly in the world, and this cannot go without significant social change. Religious beliefs and ideologies have a profound impact on how human beings view the world and the decisions they make. With Islam and New Age religions on the rise and Christianity declining in Europe and growing in Africa, the 21st century will be full of surprises. This video will focus on the religious trends of the Americas, Europe, Africa and the Middle East. The purpose of this video is to understand the changing landscape of religious belief in the world and what that could mean for the future of humanity. Before diving into this video, it's important to note that there are differences in the theology and philosophy in every world religion, so I'm not going to claim that all religions should be treated in the exact same way. This video is about capturing the social trends of religion in the world today and in the near future. We take it for granted that religions are born, grow and die, but we are also oddly blind to that reality. When someone tries to start a new religion, it's often dismissed as a cult for a fear of dominating culture, losing influence or legitimacy. Even in the early days of Christianity, the Jewish leaders perceived it as a cult, but in 2022, it is one of the most significant religions now and arguably the most profound in human history. When we recognize a faith, we treat its teachings and traditions as timeless and sacrosanct, and when a religion dies, it becomes a myth, and its claim to sacred truth expires. For example, across the ancient Greek world, and through ancient Egyptian religions, they are considered legends and myths today, and now we consider the study as mythology. If you look at Mexico before Columbus and the Europeans arrived, Aztecs were worshipping Huitzilopochtli and ripping the hearts out of their lower class population to ensure that life was given back to the god of the sun. For the Aztecs, this was a form of religious worship and the Spanish were totally astounded by this practice. After all, the Spanish were used to Christianity and their Catholic traditions and seeing acts of this kind were totally gobsmacking. Ever since the Spanish colonization of the Americas, 70% of the region are Catholic and the other 20% are Protestant, with Christianity totally dominating the culture. This shows that traditional Aztec, Mayan or Incan religion is almost non-existent and the point here is that religious demographics generally change over time. This is primarily due to changes in hegemony and new civilizations will often bring their religion with them to help with a change in culture. The religious demographics of Latin America remain very strongly Christian with Catholicism dominating the region. This is because Latin Americans have upheld Catholic traditions after it was introduced by the Spanish Empire. However, in Latin America, less and less are being identified with Catholicism, with many Latin Americans joining evangelical Protestant churches and even ditching organized religion altogether. What's interesting is that Protestant Christians are claiming that they are speaking in tongues and praying for a miraculous healing more than the Catholics are. Also, Protestants in Latin America are more likely than Catholics to say that abortion should be illegal in all or most cases and that sex outside marriage and divorce are morally wrong. It seems like in Latin America that Protestant Christians seem to be stricter in their alignment with Christian ethical ideals and the Catholics aren't doing so as much. As a whole, it's more than likely that Christianity will remain as the dominant religion in Latin America. While there may be some shift to people becoming non-religious, the trend seems to be that Protestantism will grow and be a major force for religion in Latin America, at least during the 21st century. In the West, but particularly Western Europe, Christianity is in long-term decline. Protestantism and a rise in scientific understandings of the world has pushed the West into a secular culture where less and less people identify themselves as Christians. That being said, Catholicism is still the largest Christian group in Europe, accounting for 40% of the population. Atheism and agnosticism has increased in the late 20th and 21st centuries in Europe, with falling church attendance and membership in various European countries. If you're interested in this topic and want to learn exactly what has been happening, check out this video that I made on this topic. However, in the United States, Christianity is not declining at the same rate as the Europeans, but the slow downward trend is there. 
In the US, New Age religions are on the rise, with many Christians now believing in reincarnation, astrology, psychics, and the presence of spiritual energy in trees and mountains. You've probably noticed on social media the popularity of people posting about star signs and crystals, and this is an example of New Age spirituality on the rise. Even recently in the United Kingdom, shamanism is the fastest growing religion in the UK and in Wales. Shamanism is a system of religious practice which historically is associated with indigenous and tribal societies and involves beliefs that shamans have a connection to the other world and have the power to heal the sick, communicate with spirits and escort souls of the dead to the afterlife. Perhaps you will see New Age spiritualities try and interrelate and connect with traditional religions like Christianity. While Christianity is declining in Western countries, it will more than likely stay, for the moral beliefs of Christianity are pivotal for society, and in the end, people really don't throw them away. Eastern Europe, which can also be seen as Orthodox civilization, has seen a sharp decline in its established religion, Orthodox Christianity, with a rising number of agnostics and atheists in the region. The Orthodox Church was the original Church of Christianity, but was given the name Orthodox or Eastern Orthodox, after the church split into a Western church and an Eastern church in 1054. The sharp decline of Orthodox Christianity in Russia is primarily because of the anti-religious policies of the Soviet Union that involved the closing down of churches and persecution of Christians in the region. Religious activities were suppressed in the most former communist countries during the totalitarian period, as political elites believed that religion was incompatible with the advancement of communism. The clergy were persecuted, killed and imprisoned, and churches were demolished or closed. Church going was prohibited and religious education was removed from the school curricula. Now, 10% of Central Europeans attend Orthodox Church weekly, alongside only 6% of Russians doing the same. However, Orthodoxy has been expanding rapidly through the uptake of Orthodox Christianity by Ethiopia. Ethiopia has an incredibly high birth rate and is now the second largest Orthodox population of Christians in the world. While secularism does continue to grow in Russia and Eastern Europe, it's more than likely that Orthodoxy or some form of Christianity will rise up again in the region. After all, Carl Jung's archetypes reveal that religious beliefs are imprinted into our brains and that they continue to be reproduced across all times and cultures throughout human history. In this sense, religious belief will probably never die and there will be some form of new belief system or spirituality to emerge in Russia. If we look at Africa, we see two religions that are dominant in the region, Christianity and Islam. The Christian population of Africa is expected to grow to 2.9 billion in 2050, meaning that one in three people worldwide are expected to identify as Christians by the same period. With a growing Protestant and Orthodox population in Africa, you can expect the African continent to become the largest Christian continent by the middle of the century. That being said, there are many African countries that are dominated by Islam and Islamic culture. And, as I've said in this video, Islamic families and societies have extremely high birth rates, with Islam being the fastest growing religion in the world. If you're interested in this topic, check out this video that I made. Across Europe, Africa, the Americas and the Middle East, we are seeing some significant demographic changes. Religious belief will never go away and nor should it. While there are some issues associated with ideological religious beliefs, these foundations are critical for human beings, for community. Most importantly, when human beings face treachery and suffering, they result to prayer and the abolition of religion destroys this possibility. Thank you for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, consider subscribing and liking the video for more content like this.